Now I'm going to take a minute to show you um, how I do it on a smaller piece. This is 8 inch by 10 inch little canvas. Um, so the hardware that you're going to use is going to be different for this. Um, instead of a D-ring hanger on the outside, um, we're going to do a little eye screw. And we're going to do that into the side of the wood on the inside on both sides. So, um, you can also buy these in bulk. I have a little case for all my little random hardware things and drill bits and whatnot. And um, I have a whole bunch of these things too. Um, I think they come in different sizes, but um, there's this, there's, this is a standard size um, for picture hanging. And so I've got two of those. All right, so this is a much smaller canvas, but I'm gonna do basically the same thing I did before on the bigger one. Um, this canvas is 10 inches tall. So um, what I'm gonna do on this one, um, a quarter of 10 inches would be two and a half, and a third would be three and a third. So I'm gonna do this at three inches. Um, that's in that range. I've already done those little marks. Okay, this is where your teeny tiny drill bit comes in. Um, this is going to be to drill pilot holes, um, which will make it much easier to screw these things in to the wood. So you can see that this eye screw is very short. It's, n it's not even half an inch long. So I don't need to drill all the way the length of this whole drill bit. I only needed to do about halfway into the wood, or even, not even halfway. Um, so I'm gonna be just eyeballing that when I do this pilot hole. Um, so I'm gonna look where I did my little mark, and then try and get right there into the side of the wood, and get it to go in as straight as you can. Um, sometimes you have to angle it slightly with these smaller canvases because your drill can't fit into that space. Um, it's okay if it's not totally straight. If it is angled slightly, that's not a big deal. Okay, so I've got, got my little pilot holes on the inside right there. And then I'm gonna get my eye screw and I'm gonna start threading it in by hand if you did this, um, you can do it totally by hand, but it kind of, it's hard on your fingers. Um, so here's a handy tip. Get one of these. It is a screwdriver handle with a um, hexagonal socket on the end of it. And this one is seven millimeters, which is about the right size to fit over that, that eye screw um, with the loop of the eye screw, I don't know if you can see this, fits into one of those corners of that hex, hexagon. Okay, so this gives you some leverage. It's a tool you can use to get that in without actually hurting your hand. And you just screw it all the way in until that loop is right up against the wood and the screws all the way in there. Then I'll just do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now we're ready for the wire. So same as before. Uh, this wire um, is going to have to be a little bit um, tighter across because there's only so much room below the wood for that picture hanging hook to go when it goes on the wall. Um, and some of those hooks are, you know, like an, an inch or more tall. So this one, I'm going to make it go more straight across um, with just a little bit of slack in it to make it easier to get it on the hook. Okay, so I've sped this up and what I'm doing is hooking that wire around the eye screw, tying a knot, coiling that tail around the wire, then I'm gonna measure how long I want it to be, mark that with my thumbnail, cut it, tie the knot on the other side, and coil 
that tail around the wire again. There you go. That's how it's done. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you a few little other tips that I've picked up. Um, with this, this is the painting I just put the wire on. There's the wire. And you can see here how um, the hardware right here is going to make your painting come out from the wall a tiny bit um, because it's, it sticks out past the edge of this wood. So um, that's normally not a problem, but uh, with a bigger painting especially you want to be mindful of it because um, it looks really odd if the top is sort of sticking out from the wall and then the bottom's touching. Um, so just a little, a little detail that can make your work look more finished is these things. Um, the little felt pads that are designed to be stuck on the bottoms of furniture legs. Um, you can just take two of these and put them on the very bottom corners on the back of your painting and that way um, the painting will sit out from the wall a tiny bit, you know, an eighth of an inch or so, um, but it will do that from all the way from top to bottom. So that's a, a little tip that will uh, help the painting look more finished um, and more professional. And this is my favorite kind of picture hook. Um, the company that makes them is it's Ook O O K. Um, these ones are really nice quality. They don't damage your wall because they're totally flat on the back and they come with a little nail that goes through like that and you just put that in your wall and they come um, in different sizes for different weights of paintings. So now here is my painting on the wall and this painting is 24 by 30 and then this one over here is 40 inches by 50 inches. So um, just a little note for a painting this large, um, I believe, let's see, it's 40 by 50. So I probably put the hangers on either side about 12 inches down, I would, would be my guess as to what I did. As long as it's between 25 and 33% and from the top edge. Um, with a painting this big, um, they normally have a cross brace in the center and so what you want to do is have two hooks on the wall when you're hanging the painting and what I do for that is I have I have my wire go from um, the one hook to the other just just like before but when I'm measuring instead of having one hook from the center I I measure um, six inches from from the center on either side so there are going to be two hooks 12 inches apart about six inches down um, and that's my formula for bigger painting 